Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you about while loops and for loops. Um, they're very easy. That's They also have the same syntax pretty much as a uh, if else or elif statement. That's why I showed you the tutorial before this. And as you can see, I'm back with Python. Yeah, that's good. Um, for those of you who were into the Python, because I only have one HTML tutorial currently. Um, I will be making more HTML tutorials for those of you who wanted that, but for now I'm going to go back to Python for a few more tutorials so those people will get what they came for. Alright, so to start with uh, your for loop, because that's what I'm going to go over first, you're going to make a variable. And so, hopefully you know how to do that. I made a tutorial on it if you don't know what that is. So, we're actually going to make a list, not just a variable. So I'm going to do uh, g is equal to, and then uh, let's say, get that out of the way so you guys can see. Um, we'll say hello, um, apples are yummy. There we go. I press enter and that's stored just make sure by typing whatever you assigned your list to for the variable I assigned mine to G so now what you're going to do is type in for and then you're going to make a new variable now this actually will exist outside of the for loop so this will be a completely new variable and I'll show you what happens with it later on after we get done with this so you're going to make a new variable I'll make this one F so for F in G and then colon. So what what it's saying is for every time f appears in g, so in this list, I want you to do whatever I type in next. So we'll press enter to your indentation like that. It's just a tab space or four spaces, depending on what you want to do. Tabs are much faster. And then just type print. Uh, this is and then modulus s. And then we'll say we'll make that modulus equal to um, F and now here's what's going to happen the for loop will assign each of these strings to F so first it'll assign hello to F so it'll say this is hello and then it'll go on to apples and hello will no longer be equal to F but apples will be equal to F then it'll print out this is apples and then it'll go on to R apples is no longer equal to F but R is equal to F and then it'll continue to do that until it gets to the last one and after it ends whatever it was the very last time is what f is now equal to and I know that may sound confusing but trust me just do this a few times and you'll understand what I'm saying so we'll press enter twice to get the for loop to work and we have this is hello this is apples this is r this is yummy so now uh, if we do f just to see what it's equal to we get yummy. So it's no, not equal to hello, it's not equal to apples, it's not equal to r, it's not equal to the list we made called g, it's equal to yummy. So if we were to do print, oops, if we were to do print ah, f, we get, oops, my bad, print f, we get yummy. So that's how a for loop works. What about a while loop? while loop is a more sparingly used loop what I mean by that is that you don't want to use these a lot and there's a reason for it they leave a big margin for error which would actually just keep your program going on forever until eventually it leaks so much memory it just crashes and dies like a fire with uh, no air so yeah I'll show you what I mean after I show you how this is supposed to be responsibly used so you're going to type well, you're first going to make another variable. We'll have a equal to, and just for the purpose of this, so it's easier, we'll make it a is equal to 20. We'll see why in just a second. So then we'll type while a is less than, oops, um, greater than or equal to um, 1, and then a colon. And now this is what's going to happen. It's going to say for every time that a is uh, greater than or equal to the number one I'm going to run this block of code 
So we press enter, do our tab space or four spaces, whatever you choose. And then we'll say uh, print A, enter again, indentation, and then A minus equal uh, 1. So what it's going to do is it's going to say while A is greater than or equal to 1, I want you to print A. And then after it does that, it's going to take 1 away from A. And then it's going to go back up here. And now that A is equal to 1 less than what it was, it's going to look at it again and say, okay, is A greater or equal to 1? If it is, then it does this again. And so on. So we press enter. And we get 20, 19, 18, 17, all the way down to 1. So basically what happened? It uh, printed out A, took one away, printed A, took one away, printed 18, uh, took one away, printed 17, and it did that until A was less than 1. And now that it's less than 1, what is it? Because it stopped after it got to less than 1. It didn't just keep taking it away, it just stopped. So if we do A and check the value, it's 0 right there. So that's pretty much how that works. And as you guys can see, if you make a variable within a loop, it's a permanent variable, which means you can reassign it later on if you wish to. But if it becomes useful later on, like a list of names and or something, depending on how you use it, uh, the variable will always be there if you need it. So that can be very useful. And as I said, I'm going to show you guys what... Um, an ongoing loop would look like. It's really easy. Just type in while 1 equals 1 colon enter oops my bad while 1 is equal to so two equal signs 1 colon enter indentation print high oops print high now what's going to happen is it's just going to keep printing high over and over again because we did not tell it to do something that would make this statement false. And there you go. High, 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 high. Now we sound like a marijuana addict. Yeah, so that's pretty much all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, subscribe for future videos. Like the video if you liked it, comment with any questions or comments or suggestions, whatever, and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. Watch my next tutorial.